Welcome back to my channel, Chrissy's Point of View. If it's your first time being here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so happy that you are here. My channel is mostly about motivation, meditation, getting clarity of mind to achieve your goals. Right? Today, we are going to talk about how to be a visionary. Everything about vision, we are going to discuss that. Right? last video we discussed about if your dreams are really worth it now if your dreams are really worth it my people you will go after it but do you have vision that's the question do you have vision so what is a visionary does do you express things with passion do you encourage and respect other person's opinions like if you're in the, a leader of a group do you respect their opinions if someone brings something to you are you ready to hear them out or are you like saying no my way or no way do you celebrate small accomplishments or small successes do you express this celebration with passion? Do you express your dreams and goals with clarity? Does your dream bring an impact to others? Because I know a lot of persons don't like to like tell persons about their dreams because they are afraid the person will steal their dream or their dream will not come to pass but if you have a trusted group of persons to build a team so that your dreams could manifest because if you're building an empire you need more than one person it can't be you alone right am i correct Comment down below if you understand what I mean or if you don't think that you should tell other persons your dreams or if you feel like if it is telling other persons will they will want to steal your ideas. Tell, comment down below and tell me what you think. So we are going to talk about the characteristics of a dreamer the, not a dreamer characteristics of a visionary right so i'm going to share my screen and first question are you a visionary right you have to know that for yourself how far is your vision see you're seeing a picture of a telescope you know with the normal eye you won't be able to see what the telescope will allow you to see right so how far are you seeing same as like a binoculars how far do you really see when you're looking towards the future are you prepared for any problems do you do you have like a contingency plan if something happens? Are you a visionary? So, Proverbs, in the Bible, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18a says, Where there is no vision, the people perish. Right? So, in being successful, you must know exactly what steps you want to take which direction you want to go in in building a business in being successful right write down your plans um be intentional about it don't give up on your dreams i believe that i have said this several times in this particular series that i have been doing for some time now about going after your dreams but if it is you don't have vision 
as the Bible says, the people perish. So characteristics of a visionary. Look, I was speaking about a binoculars and you see a binoculars there. Do you show up in life bringing with you everything you have? Meaning, everything you have as what exactly do you show up with like with your team do you show up half-hearted do you show up not motivating them like do you let them know how bad of a morning you have been having what what do you bring to the table when you show up right that is what you need to think about what do you bring in life when you show up do you empower and support others with trust so if you give someone a project to do are you trusting them and supporting them that they will complete the project you know because in the past i have worked with persons who seem to be incompetent this was my this is my hardest i think this is one of the hardest things for me in looking towards that vision being a visionary because you're, you're afraid to give persons things because you're not sure if it is they will do it right you know they say when it is you want something done right do it yourself that kind of thing are you like that are you that person do it yourself because when it is you keep doing things yourself you will obviously in the long run burn out yourself do you welcome diversity and individuality right so how do you look at persons do you have diversity do you like welcome their ideas regardless of what race they're from if they choose to do something in different way it don't even have to be race it could be their culture if they choose to do something their individuality their culture do you welcome their culture to look at things in a different way to do things in a different way or is it always your way are you curious and creative look at this child here he seems very curious lord knows what goes on in a child's head i know when i was at a certain age i used to be very adventurous so the question is are you adventurous are you creative comment down below if you are creative if you find yourself thinking and all is writing down and jotting down stuff are you curious to see where things will go are you creative to see how things will bloom how things will grow in the business do you ask for ideas and opinion so in my one of my groups i tend to brainstorm a lot and i ask persons do you all have any ideas do you what's your point of view as my channel name is point of view what is your point of view what's your opinion shed some ideas right because at the end of the day if you are in a group or in your team you cannot be the one, only one who is shooting ideas because it's a team there's no i in team do you listen intently for possibilities and opportunities right do you like search on the internet hmm what is the new opportunity that i could make money what is the new thing that i could learn new opportunity that i can learn more things to make myself better to invest in myself invest in my education so i can make things better for myself robert kiyosaki says to invest in financial having a high financial iq right do you do that do you do you explore to see what can make me better as a person financially physically spiritually do you recruit new resources and welcome them warmly 
do you recruit and welcome new resources warmly now for this i have started classes and the classes are on the next side of the world and let's just say i am still welcoming them warmly because the time i have to get up to do some of these classes is like wow how am i welcoming these new resources i'm supposed to be learning i am learning a lot actually but it's taking a toll on my sleep patterns but welcoming them warmly having an open mind is the most important that's how you will learn do you do what you see you will do so this question here is for me is like the golden question do you follow through that's part of being in having integrity do you follow through on what you say you will do do you say that you will do something or you will learn a certain thing and you don't follow through think about it my people think about it and read yourself this is the end of the video for today remember to rate yourself and leave comments below tell me what you think if you fall into that category what problems are you having maybe i could give you some pointers and i hope to see you next time on chrissy's point of view and don't forget to subscribe and i left a gift under this video for you please click the link below and you will get your gift. Ciao!